Hi guys, um, what's up? I am back. I just actually came back a few days ago from Oman. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I just came back from Oman. I had an incredible experience with Amouage. They actually kindly... In my dog is here and he is clearly excited for me to unbox all of these fragrances because he's already ripping into them. Passy, stop. Um, like I was just saying, I just came back from Oman. I had an incredible time and Amouage was so kind to invite both myself and Pierre um, to Oman and it was just so beautiful. We spent five days there. It was such a fantastic experience. As you can tell, I am a little bit sick. I Well, actually, I'm very sick at the moment. I came back and I just felt really, really bad, really tired, really sick, really fluey. Um, I don't have the thing. I feel like you have to say it now, but I just have a really bad flu. Like my throat is really bad, my nose. So anyways, I wanted to get back to filming. Personally, I cannot stand to just do nothing. I've been trying for like two days just to sit in my bed and do emails and I really want to film. Like I have to film. I really want to get this video done. I want to sit here and connect with you guys because I feel like it's been way too long. And I always love when you guys message me, you're like, are you okay? Like, I miss you. I haven't seen you upload a video for ages. What's going on? It really is the sweetest thing ever to have people online that actually care about you and are wondering where you are and where your presence is. So I just really appreciate that. So guys, as you can see from the title of this video, today I'm gonna be doing a PR unboxing. Now, this disclaimer is in no way to brag, to show off, to be like, look at what I've been sent. Honestly, it is a dream come true when you're so passionate about fragrance and you get sent them by brands for free. It is a dream come true. It's been like this since I started reviewing fragrances on YouTube and more so now uh, in my like journey online and stuff, I'm getting sent a lot of PR from niche brands, from designer brands, through PR agencies. I told you guys recently I got a lot more opportunities since I've been writing for Harper's Bazaar Arabia. Um, so yeah, that's really cool and I get to connect with brands that I've never had the chance to connect with before. So in this video you will actually see I was sent an Yves Saint Laurent fragrance and I am obsessed with it and I'm just absolutely in love and I cannot believe I've reached the point where I can get sent a free Yves Saint Laurent, like that's shocking to me. Um, so anyways, I have a bit of niche, a bit of designer, some really cool things in this video um, and I just want to unbox them with you guys. This video is going to be really chill, very relaxed and very casual. I haven't smelled, I've smelled like one or two, I couldn't wait, so I haven't smelled most of them, but let's just get into it. I'm going to start out with this fragrance right here. It's from Matière Première, the brand of Aurélien Guichard, um, who is a fantastic perfumer. He's very well known in the industry. He's made a lot for Narciso Rodriguez. He's made a lot for um, Versace. He's made so many and his father as well, along with Aurelian, his father uh, years ago was also one of the most famous perfumers. So just to give you a bit of background, this is their new launch. I actually got the chance to smell it last year in Cannes. It is called French Flower. I will just quickly open it and then... Um, uh, and quickly review it of how I think it smells. So I'm not gonna go through like an in-depth review I'm just gonna show you guys what the bottle looks like. This is the fragrance French flower um, And I believe that this is a modern take on tuberose um, Aurelian he has his own um, Fields where he grows a lot of the flowers that he uses in his fragrances. Yeah, I remember this fragrance very vividly from when I smelled it in Cannes. It is a very beautiful and raw, realistic, indolic and sensual tuberose scent. Very modern. It doesn't smell like a very old fashioned tuberose. It doesn't smell very powdery or I don't know if you guys are on the same page as me, but when you smell a very like classic vintage tuberose, sometimes they can smell quite powdery. Um, they mix the tuberose with a lot of gardenia and it just smells a little old. This is a very sophisticated, sexy and modern take on tuberose, yet smelling very, very clean, very raw at the same time. Like you don't really get too much of anything else in the fragrance except for this beautiful slightly sweet, slightly creamy, a little green uh, tuberose, and it is just very, very, very beautiful. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It has a cleanness. It definitely has a slight sweetness. 
it has a touch of like the earthy rootiness that comes through very sexy very powerful i actually had the chance to wear the sample that i had and it lasts a long time on the skin it's a bit of a beast mode to gross fragrance so yeah french flower from matière première really nice fragrance and i'm happy to have this one okay so next up i got something from molten brown i'm not so familiar actually with this brand if you guys know much about it let's go ahead and see rose dunes i really like the bottle it's quite it's quite cool it's like a mix between like Byredo, Armani Privé kind of thing. Um, let's have a little smell of this one. I'm assuming it's going to be rose. <laughs> I mean, you would you would think. So immediately when I first sprayed it, I got something a little bit like tart and sour. Um, I'm not sure where that's coming from. And now it's starting to soften down into quite a warm, spicy rose. With a touch of sweetness in the background. But for me, it's like this kind of warm, spicy, woody rose scent. Yeah, it's really nice. I have to spend a little more time with it and wear it and see how I like it. But it is definitely a nice rose. So that is Molten Brown Rose Dunes. Whenever I see this red box uh, sitting in front of my door, because I remember I came back home and I saw it sitting there and I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited because... I love to see a little Louboutin red box in front of my door. It's always means it's a nice package. So inside we have, let me just see what the note said. Dear Demi, Ramadan Karim from the Louboutin beauty team. So this was for Ramadan, which is very sweet, very kind. And you can see even the box is in the spirit of Ramadan. I'm not going to lie to you right now. I had to smell this one. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, are you serious right now? That is probably one of the most epic bottles I have ever seen in my life. It is crazy. So that is what the bottle looks like. And I know it looks crazy, but it's, it feels, the quality just feels like the, the cap is just as heavy, actually heavier than the bottle weighs. Isn't that insane? So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, spray it, tell you guys what I think. Um, and this one is called Luby Prince by Louboutin. And actually, guys, I have to tell you something. I was not really expecting Louboutin fragrances to be as good as they are. And I think that they far exceeded my expectations when I started to try the fragrances and actually wear them myself. They completely... Um, blew me away with what I was actually initially expecting. This is Tonka Bean Heaven. Absolute Tonka Bean magic. It's sweet, it's raw, it's smooth, it's creamy, there's sandalwood, there's Tonka Bean, there is an amberiness to it, there is definitely like this vanillic tone coming from this, the Tonka Bean. It is just Wow, slightly balsamic and creamy at the same time. A little powdery, but it is just a beautiful fragrance. Really, really, really well done. And you can really, like I said, smell the quality, which again, I was not expecting. And maybe that's a bit judgmental, but I don't know why. I just wasn't expecting sometimes when, sometimes when designer houses that are not known for doing fragrances create a fragrance line, you have no idea what to expect. And for now, me, I was always looking at Louboutin for the shoes. And now that they have these, this beautiful perfume line, I am absolutely blown away. And this is amazing. Like I said, a beautiful Tonka bean scent with some sandalwood, this creamy lactonic feeling almost. It's sweet, but not overbearingly sweet. The only thing I will say is the fragrance is quite one dimensional. When you spray it initially, that's what you're gonna get from the start to the end of the wear of the fragrance. You're not really gonna get an evolution, which some people love and some people don't care at all. Um, but yeah, I feel like it is an incredible Tonka Bean fragrance, but it is very one dimensional. So you have to expect that when getting it but it is beautiful. Luby Prince by Louboutin. Just while I'm here, I'll quickly show you guys so I can remove them from my desk. When we're in Oman, we got a little gift set from the Amouage Boutique um, and one of them is missing because we took it out and took it in our bag or something. But this one is Pierre's. He got Interlude Man and Honor Man. And this is something that you can do at the Amouage Boutique in Oman. 
is you work with one of their vendors of telling them your taste, what you like, what you're looking for, and then they can give you some samples in a gift box like this. And the gift box is really beautiful, I think. Like it's a uh, very, very stunning. Amouage is attention to detail times 1000. I decided to go for Reflection Woman Interlude Man because I really wanted to wear it and CL Woman. I wanted something more fresh because I feel like now it's getting hotter in Dubai, now it's getting hotter everywhere right now. I just want something refreshing. I'm feeling really hot, really weighed down and really like ugh, most days. And I feel like I need something to wake me up. Does that make sense? And that's why I wanted to, to go for the more citrus from the brand. Um, but I don't know, do you guys feel the same way? I'm not sure why, but at the moment, like any fragrance that I'm wearing, I hope I'm not pregnant, but like any fragrance that I'm wearing, it's bothering me. So I'm really going for like citrus, light fragrances, all of that, because I just want something like light, refreshing, and is gonna get me through my day. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Next up, I have a huge one. It's here from Penhaligons. Um, I just thought I would quickly open it up with you guys. Okay, so again, <coughs> this one was for Ramadan. Um, and I did look inside the box. I didn't go through anything. Ugh, that's just, I told you guys I'm so hot right now. It's just, I cannot breathe. They sent me this for Ramadan and I looked inside. I didn't go through anything, but there is like little bags like this um, containing, I guess, I hope perfume. <laughs> I'm not really sure. So let's go through it together, guys. And I'm just gonna quickly open up everything uh, with you. But it looks like it's very, it feels like they're very small things. So let's just quickly go through them. It's gonna be like a little like surprise unboxing. So they're wrapped up like this. Oh, that's cute. The first thing is a Halfetti body and hand lotion. That's very cute. I love anything mini travel size. A travel size of Babylon. I'm not familiar. Do I know this one? I'm not sure. I will spray it after, but it's Babylon in a little travel size. Okay, next one is the Revenge of Lady Blanche over here. Don't look at my nails, by the way, guys. I always mentioned it in previous videos. I am not somebody that can keep up with my nails. Like, I just wanna have nice nails all the time, but without actually putting in the effort to do it. And I don't know why, but as a, as a girl, I think I am standing alone in this sense, but I find it so boring to sit at the nail salon and just sit there and get my nails done. Like for me, it's a nightmare. Like I'm, I just hate it. So I never have them done. And at the moment they really need to get done. I can't smell that much. Okay. Oh my God, guys, it's so cute. It's a mini Penhaligon's candle. So cute, you guys. That one's really cute. But I feel like me, I'm such a candle person and I burn them all the time. I also burn like incense, um, bahor, I burn everything. Oud chips, I love to burn some little like oud chips that I got at the souk in Dubai. But a candle like this, I feel like it's gonna last me 10 minutes or so, which is not very good. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Oh, that's cute. It's a mini Halfetti hand and body wash. So now we have the body lotion and the body wash, which Halfetti, I'm a big fan of the scent. Pierre, he wears it sometimes and it smells really, really good. It's a very nice, like warm, woody, um, patchouli scent. And I really love it. So, ah, feels like another candle. This one is called Amber Stone. Amber, not Amber. But this smells really good. Oh, that smells good. This is such a cute idea for like Christmas or like, I, I wish more brands would, oh, another candle. This one is a bit bigger though. Okay, this one is black. It smells like a very um, smoky, woody note. It smells like a little bit of oud, some guyac wood or something. Yeah, it definitely has that kind of um, burning wood smell. Do you guys know what I mean? Personally, I like it in a candle. Could be some vetiver in here as well. This one is called Maduro Leaf. I don't know about you guys, but I am really not a fan when fragrances contain that. There is no really nice way to say it, but I'm going to just say it. It smells like burning meat. Like it smells like a barbecue, but in your fragrance. And I know 
for me, it's like I am a fragrance detector. When a fragrance has a little bit of this note inside, it can be a lot of things. It can be, sometimes it can be oud that smells like that. Sometimes it can be cypriol. Sometimes it can be um, gayak wood. I don't know why, but it just, this note, it just really, really, really bothers me in fragrances. Like there is um, Atelier des Or Lune Feline. I remember when I tried it, it has that burning meat smell that I just really don't like at all in fragrances. I don't know about you guys, but I just, I just cannot with that smell. Uh, this one is Empresso, which if I remember, it's kind of a, like similar to Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. Another Halfetti hand and body lotion. I really love Halfetti. Ah, uh, we got the Halfetti travel spray. Pierre will love that. Ah, uh, another Halfetti. That's kind of strange. Or uh, maybe one is Halfetti Extreme or something. Halfetti, nope, they're both Halfetti. Okay, the tragedy of Lord George is the last one that I have here. So overall, let me just one sec. So overall, there is one, two, four, six, six travel sprays of Penhaligons, three candles and a few little like body products. So that was from Penhaligons. Um, it was quite an effort to open all of that, but it's, um, I love these kind of travel sprays. I always put them in my purse. Um, as a woman, I love to have perfume wherever I go. So I love to use these as like in my purse and stuff. I have something from this company that I'm working with in Dubai. Um, I recently made a video with them. If you guys saw on my community page, it's the video that I did with Narcisa Rodriguez. I really love this company because I think this lady, her name is Tamara, who is the founder of the company Tash by T. I have a lot of respect for her with what she's doing. Um, she is like a business woman and basically I'm working with her So I will go to her studio and we will film fragrance content together that they will publish on their social media and also mine And she will get like a collaborator for each perfume video that we will do together So last month it was Narcisa Rodriguez in the future. It's gonna be ex nihilo um, and just a few different things like that so I'm really really looking forward to working with them for the rest of the year it's separate from my own channel, but I will obviously talk about um, things on my social media as well to do with Tash by T because I do love, love, love working with them. It's so professional as well. It's like nothing like what I'm doing in my, in my room with my camera and my ring light. It's like a full production and stuff. So it's really amazing to have this beautiful professional environment where I can talk about fragrance. So it's so nice. Anyways, stopping the rambling. They sent me um, this beautiful Narciso box uh, from Tash by T and Narciso Rodriguez and I wanted to open it up with you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna rip that. Ah, okay. Narciso here. There is a candle. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't have a Narciso. Oh, wow. Guys, look at this. <gasps> that is amazing. You know what? I think I'm gonna give do a giveaway um, for 250,000 because I have two extra ones of the Musk Noir Rose that I would love to give you guys in some way or even the Pure Musk like I will try to organize a giveaway it's so hard to ship perfumes but I'm going to try to do it um, because yeah I have two extra ones of the Musk Noir Rose which you guys know that I love I have it just up here and I've used so much of it but I don't it's not necessary for me to have so many so I will try to do a giveaway for you guys um, so yeah, Pure Musk, Musk Noir Rose, which is my favorite layering combination. I love to mix the Pure Musk with the Musk, the middle. I love to mix the Pure Musk with the Rose and it's just a beautiful combo. And then there is a candle, guys. I'm so excited about this. I love candles and I don't have a Narciso candle. Oh, that smells good. It smells like Pure Musk. Yeah, it smells like pure musk. It's beautiful. Wow. So we have two more. We have the BDK um, new launch. I'm so happy about this and so excited for David. Um, I think I will do a completely separate review of this fragrance, so I'm not going to go into it now. But I did smell it the end, like last year, the end of last year maybe, when he came to Dubai and he was in our house, in our living room. Um, and I got to smell the X-ray of Gris Chanel. And I remember smelling a few different ones of it. And I gave him my feedback of what I think. And I'm just so excited to smell it in its full bottle and everything. So 
Actually, should I wait to unbox it? No, I'll unbox it now. Actually, I hadn't seen the bottle before. I didn't know it was black and it is so beautiful when I saw it online that I'm just so excited to see what it looks like in real life. Okay, so, oh, I just love David's packaging. Like the little detail on the side saying extra de parfum. It's beautiful. Oh, guys, it's here. The x-ray, Grish on now x-ray. So I knew that he was working on this for a long time. Um, like he's been working on it for a very, very long time. And I am so happy for him because like a lot of you people watching this video, you've smelled Grish Chanel and a lot of you love it as well. I'm just really proud and happy for David that Grish Chanel was such a success that they even turned it into an extra version. So I'm gonna go ahead and smell it. I do have an idea of how it smells, but maybe it smells a little different since it's now in the bottle. Oh guys, it is just absolutely divine. I, I know it was, like I already knew that it was gonna be incredible. But just having it in my hand, it smells so freaking good. I have to say, if you like Grey Chanel, if that was like one of your favorite fragrances, just go ahead and blind buy the X-ray version because the DNA of Grey Chanel, it didn't change drastically in the X-ray. It smells pretty much the same, but enhancing a few other notes to make it just that little bit more special. So there is a, a touch of like a smokiness. Again, my nose is not at its peak, so don't judge me too much, but there is a little bit more of this kind of like woody, slightly smoky feeling to it. I feel like you pick up less on the figgish note. I feel like you definitely pick up less on that kind of figgy touch to Gris Chanel, the original. And I feel like here you get more of like this vetiver, a little more of like a smoky woodiness to the scent and also more vanilla. It is just amazing. If you like Grish Chanel, you're gonna love the X-ray. I'm gonna wear it today to test it out and see how it is. And I think I will make a whole entire separate review of the X-ray. So yeah, Grish Chanel X-ray, an incredible release from BTK Parfum, another incredible release. I also really love their last one that they just launched, which was Ambre Safrano. I absolutely adore it, but I was so excited when I knew that they were launching the X-ray that I just couldn't wait to talk about it. 10 out of 10, can't wait to wear it. And like I said, I think I will do a separate review. And finally, we have one of my other favorites from this haul. It's the Yves Saint Laurent uh, new uh, launch from the Vestiaire collection. It's called Baby Cat. Now, the reason that I smelled this is because it arrived when I was in Australia. The reason that I knew that it was coming was because I was in Australia at the time and it said, you're getting a package from L'Oreal. And I was like, that's strange. Like, I don't really receive packages from L'Oreal, not really any of the brands under L'Oreal. Why would I be getting a package from L'Oreal? I was away in Australia, so I made them direct the package to Pierre's parents' house and his mom opened it for me. I asked her, can you open it? I really want to see what's inside because I have no idea. And she opened it and it was, it was this and I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. And inside is, like I said, the new launch from the Vestiaire collection. It is called Baby Cat. Dear Demi, Ramadan Karim, let's celebrate with Baby Cat, a new bold couture, Le Vestiaire de Parfum Saint, exclusive to the Middle East. I didn't know that. We hope you love it as much as we do. Why are so beauty? Oh my God, you guys. I could not believe I got something from Yves Saint Laurent. Like, I'm, I just, I, I made it. <laughs> so here is Baby Cat. And look guys, it's the cutest thing I ever saw. I was really excited about this. It has my initials at the bottom. They put my initials. I just feel like so smitten about this. Yeah, this one is my favorite. Favorite fragrance right now. I'm obsessed, I'm in love. I'm head over heels over this scent. How does it smell? I'm a little disappointed that this is exclusive to Middle East because I feel like so many of you watching me would absolutely love this fragrance. Oh my God, I am obsessed. It is a very rich, mysterious, dark, exotic vanilla fragrance. The vanilla is slightly boozy because it is bourbon vanilla used in the fragrance. Baby Cat is a very raw vanilla scent. It smells quite smoky, quite dark, a little bit balsamic. It smells like there is some frankincense in here. 
it has that kind of mysterious resinous smokiness to it that I just absolutely love but not too much the star of the show is still the vanilla but it's done in this very um, beautiful and exotic and mysterious way it definitely smells like a Middle East exclusive because it's not that typical vanilla fragrance it has the mix of the incense and that resinous vibe and a bit of a leathery touch to it and it is just addictive sexy powerful i am absolutely obsessed with it and yeah if you guys can get your hands on this one definitely try i know it says middle east exclusive but maybe they're planning to launch it somewhere else i really hope for you guys because it is a great great release baby cat from the vessier collection of yves saint laurent my one of my favorites from the haul by far it is beautiful that's it so that is it guys thank you so much for watching this enormous haul i was filming for much longer than i was expecting but that's okay i hope that you guys enjoyed it and let me know uh did you try any of the fragrances in this video did you like it uh let me know your thoughts i will talk to you guys soon bye bye